Which years? Emergency recording. GTA 6 leaked. You see the thumbnail. You see the title. You know what we're about to talk about. Um, This is possibly the biggest leak in gaming history. I'm still parsing. I mean, it's so much. I'm trying not to watch all of it, but I wanted to do a quick video and just discuss what is happening here. Of course, I have Franklin from GTA 5 with me, if you're watching on YouTube, um, as my host today. Uh, that is a joke. But um, it's a huge deal. So it's... I'm again still parsing through what happened, but it seems like 60 plus, maybe even more videos are just on the internet now. Um, apparently, some are being faked, but it's I think it's pretty easy to figure out which ones are real. This is far, far confirmed by multiple people, um, notably Jason Schreier, Jeff Grubb. Um, I think Paul Tassi even was able to confirm something. Um, I don't remember, but this I mean, this is real. So this is probably the biggest thing to happen in gaming history is a large, I mean, massive GTA 6 leak. And I'm talking some debugs. We're talking a uh, full on uh, AI testing. We're talking vehicles. We're talking, I mean, there's so much. Again, I'm still parsing through them. I nowhere near watched all of them. I'm, I'm not going to just, again, it's too much. And, um, I don't really have an interest to. It's just noteworthy to talk about, of course. But right now on my Twitter, I'm seeing uh, things like, you know, new vehicles. I'm seeing um, some testing on characters being able to transfer back and forth. It looks like you might have inventories, like you'll be able to drop weapons uh, and pick them back up. It, it, it seems strange. So maybe you have inventories instead of just having a big um, move uh, roving bag with you. So there's different things. They, they're they showing off the rain mechanics. And all of this is clearly on debug units. And, and uh, because you're actually seeing like the coding and all that pop up on these screens. So this is all preview builds, of course. And they're all still being worked on. So uh, there are a couple of people seemingly confused on how games work uh, because they're judging the quality of the game based off of this of course uh, this is far from uh made so if you actually think this is what the game will look like uh, i don't know what to tell you um, maybe read or something i don't know but i wanted to quickly bring everyone together and talk about this because uh this is huge this is probably like i said before and i don't think i'm being hyperbolic here is the biggest gaming leak of all time if you want to find this stuff, I find it, it'll be easy. I'm sure Reddit, I'm sure Twitter has all of these things up. You could probably watch as much as you want. Again, I'm just glancing at some stuff. We're seeing the Latino uh, heroine or character, I guess, is probably a better way to put it, that we'll be playing as. It looks like you're able to switch between characters. So if it looks like the leak that the both female and brother are, are playable seems to be real. But again, we don't have context of who they are. Um, where do I want to go with this? Let's talk about a little bit more of what the game looks like. Of course, it looks like GTA. I think most people aren't surprised by that, but of course the house brothers are gone and this will be the first game ever made without them. So let's really think about that. If it looks like GTA without the houses, I think we're in good hands here. Uh, so I, this this doesn't mess with me in, in terms of how excited I am for this game. I'm still very, very excited for GTA 6. I see a lot of people being pretty, um, having pretty strange reactions, if I could say so myself, to, uh, to these leaks. A lot of people um, screaming about how this is uh, terrible and things. And it, it definitely is if you are a developer. But I always of the mind of if it is news, uh, we should talk about it. Leaks are leaks. It's going to happen. They're going to happen. There's nothing we can do about them. Uh, th there's no way we'll stop them. People will leak things if they can or want to. or um, uh, As long as they think they'll get away with it, they'll do it. Uh, I can't imagine this person will because it's so much. There, I imagine there's only a small list of people that could do this. Now, there are rumors that this was attained via a Slack hack. If you don't know, Slack is a popular messaging kind of working app that many, many people use and just work generally, but it's very popular among game developers and just content creators in general. 
So it's it might actually not even be a person that worked on the game, similar to the Last of Us Part Two hacks uh, when that was leaked. Uh, that was, of course, leaked by a person who was able to actually break into a, I think, person that worked from home's server and was able to rip a bunch of stuff off of his computer. But uh, that's beside the point. Um, but it actually seems it's it's Slack hack, so it doesn't look like an employee did this. Uh, I don't think anyone would do this because it would be easy to find them. Uh, so I think it's pretty clear that's probably the truth. Uh, but we'll find out in the coming days. Um, back to just the leaks in general. Um, seeing a lot of strange takes about just leak culture. Uh, a lot of people... Uh, I think being a bit hyperbolic in their attitude towards things like this. But at the end of the day, I guess I get where they're coming from. They're saying, hey, uh, this is gonna, this is bad for the industry in general. Uh, people don't understand that this isn't made and this isn't what the game will look like. So we should uh, work. We should try not to bring light to these things. I don't know. But I, I, at the end of the day, I, I just can't even understand the, t the, the idea that these, this isn't noteworthy. But regardless of that, let's, let's move on to, um, Sorry, by the way, if I'm a little tired, I, this is this happened in the morning and I quickly uh, actually stopped watching Cobra Kai, the new season of Cobra Kai to do this video. So again, I'll be covering it in full detail in this week's episode, but I did want to jump on and just talk about the leak in general, discuss it, and see what you guys thought. I am very curious what everyone thinks. Remember, this is in development. I see a lot of people very confused. Um, on how the game doesn't look good. I honestly don't think we should even pay attention to these people because clearly either they are um, saying these things in bad faith and are trying to anger you or get under your skin or they just really don't know what they're talking about and then at that point, like, why are we even discussing these things? Because I feel like it's just a waste of time. I would rather talk about the leaks in general than uh, people who just don't know game development. Um, but yeah, that's that's... Really, all I have for you guys today, I was just, I wanted to get on. I wanted to discuss the, frankly, crazy nature of this leak. Like, I, I still am kind of in awe. That's why I don't really have too much to talk about. I can't believe this is all out there. Um, I, we even see testing from thir uh, 10, uh, 1080s, 3060s. Like, you can even, it's gotten so granular that we're seeing the test builds on different types of hardware to make sure it runs properly. We're seeing like uh, dynamic scaling and things of this nature. So this is pretty, pretty big deal. So if you are interested in learning more about it, just look up some of the gameplay and just look at what's going on. I will say it. <laughs> I'll be honest. It does look good. Uh, I'll, I'll be real with you. Now, uh, one thing I wanted to quickly touch on as well. It is possible that the source code has been actually leaked alongside of this. What it would actually be in an incredible like that that is a huge deal if it has and if it did this means this game is massively delayed now i i think the leaks wouldn't really affect the actual um date of the game releasing but if the source code is out that means they have to almost rework major parts of the game to change out the source coding to make sure it's not at risk anymore, I guess, is the, is the best way of putting it. So if that is true, which I have not seen that confirmed or acknowledged yet, that is very, very big deal. And I can't imagine what it would feel like to be a dev and have your source code out there. So that is something I am incredibly sympathetic to because that means a lot of hard work is now, um, for lack of a better word, obsolete. And that's, sad. that's just sad to hear. But I think that's all I'm going to have for you. I wanted this to be a, just a quick video to talk about it. Um, maybe I, I don't have the guest uh, for the week nailed down yet, so I don't want to say who it is. But I'm very curious to hear the idea of the leak culture because I think I'm in the minority with my thoughts here. I don't see a lot of people talking about leaks in the way i think of them as just their news so we just talk about it um 
and we shouldn't like waste eh, waste isn't a good word i guess but we shouldn't just sit there and moan about how like this is just so terrible i think it's almost assumed that it's terrible but i don't know i just have a strange feeling when especially games media personalities say bad things about leaks i mean it, you have to you have to report on the news and this reminds me a few years ago when the industry was mad when people would leak release dates and upcoming things and be like oh my god you've ruined the uh marketing for the game i saw someone actually say that today that this messes up the pr of of rockstar and i i can't i can't imagine caring i re i really can't i can't imagine hearing about a leak and saying oh my god the pr per, the pr for the game is ruined i just can't i don't care this is a multi-billion almost probably at this point rockstar I think that's easy to say a uh, company. I do not give a shit about their PR. I'm sorry. I don't know why you would. I do not know the idea why you would give two shits about the PR. I'm sorry. I, I really don't. I, 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 I could see what you mean that like maybe you're sad that they have to work harder or something. I, I, but I, I saw I saw I won't say it because I don't want to be rude to them, but I saw that the the. the someone uh, very notable on twitter say it and i just was like whoa wow i i uh i really don't get that uh i don't i don't get it i don't know why you would care um they make the same amount of money regardless uh, and i did see a good point that this is art so we should respect the artist someone said that this is like an unfinished painting of the mona lisa and someone took a picture of it and posted it on uh like online or something and i i think i get where you're going with that but i don't quite agree with um how much of a big deal it is this is a consumer product so at the end of the day yes it's art but also it's a product that's being sold so i think we're blurring the lines there in terms of what we consist of like is <laughs> comparing this to like something like the mona lisa i don't know uh but uh at the end of the day i want to hear what the uh, achievers think about this is this uh something that should be encouraged maybe that's the wrong word i want to use but is this something that we should um disparage and be upset about i really don't think it is but if it is please write in with with what you would counter with what i'm saying here i just can't imagine first off caring about the pr that's the one i really don't understand so if you if you have an insight about why you why i should care about the pr for grand theft auto 6 let me know please but uh, I, I will remain that I do not, I couldn't care less. But thank you for joining me for this. This was meant to be something short, just off the top of my head. Quick thoughts. Um, let me know if you want something specifically covered in the show upcoming, of course. Regularly scheduled every Friday, we'll be live with the newest episode um, for uh, these YouTubers podcast. So we'll have full details and I'll do a full write up of everything um, then. But I just wanted to jump on and. Just piece out my thoughts and discuss the industry's take on this because I still don't quite understand the ideas around leaks and why I should give a shit about the PR. But thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys later. And remember...